Over these past several days, we've had some wild weather. All sorts of changes from snow and cold to the mild attempts like today with our fog. And in a few days, actually tomorrow, we'll go back to winter. Just as John the Baptist called for us to repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, we heard that in last Sunday's gospel, the recent rains have revealed the leaves that were covered by the snow. Leaves that some of us didn't rake up and bag or burn. And in a way, this Advent is a time for us to uncover our leaves, what needs to be brought to God in confession and forgiven. The busyness of life, the many ways that we can distract ourselves, all can contribute to avoiding this necessary work. We might even be self-conscious about facing our waywardness. But this season of Advent is our time to begin again, a time to be encouraged, a time to start anew. And today's readings from Isaiah and from the Gospel of Matthew give us reason to believe that our God wants to help us to make things right, to clean up, if you will. Isaiah begins with the words, comfort, give comfort to my people, says your Lord. Those words spoken to the people of Jerusalem came after they had expressed sorrow for their sins and had done penance. They are the consolation and the hope that each of us needs to repair our relationships with God, our families, our friends, our co-workers. Just like the leaves beneath the snow revealed by the rain, God's grace showered down upon us today opens our minds and our hearts to face what only God can heal, what only God can make right if only we approach him. And if we still wonder if all this is too good to be true, we have Jesus' parable of the shepherd's care for that one lost sheep among the hundred. My brothers and sisters, Jesus has that same care for each and every one of us. That no matter what has taken us astray during this year, this month, this week, or even this day, he is offering us a hope, a comfort. He's offering us forgiveness and strength, everything that we need to be able to share in the joy and peace of this Advent season and the Christmas season. And like the Good Shepherd, we too are called to search out for those who are lost, to bring the light of Christ, the hope and the joy to them, to invite them to come back, to make the flock whole, to make our families whole, to be able to rejoice in this holy season of God's grace, together giving glory to God. May God bless you and your families on this holy day and never forget, when we're with Jesus, we are never lost.